Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be showing you uh, how to um, remove and install the radiator fan in this 1997 Pontiac Sunfire, same as most uh, 95 to 05 Cavaliers and Sunfires. You really only need a 10 millimeter wrench uh, and a screwdriver or a set of pliers, and also an 8 millimeter wrench to disconnect the battery. So, first, using either an 8 millimeter or a 5 16 wrench, you want to disconnect the positive battery cable. So after the battery is disconnected, um, you want to look here at the front of the engine compartment. You want to remove this panel, and it'll be a little different for Cavaliers or whatnot. I'm just using the two screwdriver method here, I'm using my flat blade screwdriver to pry up on these pins. Once you get the pins up, then the little clips come out. And I'm going to get the rest of them with. Needle those pliers. There's, I think, six or seven of these clips. This car has lost a few over the years, so it only has three left. Okay, then the panel comes up and off. Okay, so now you want to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts at the outside of the radiator. Basically this just allows your radiator to flex back and forth a little bit. Um, now you want to look at, now you want to see how the fan is installed. Basically right there you can see this, this bar going across that just pulls right out of this clip. Okay, And then down there um, there's another uh, clip and this side of the fan can just pull up and off of the radiator. Okay, And then on this side underneath basically the radiator fan is just kind of hooked onto the radiator. So basically there's a bolt down bottom you remove that bolt and then push the radiator fan up and it comes off of its mounts. So now we'll raise and support the car and go from underneath. We're actually going to start up underneath the car and you can barely see with the camera angle is a 10 millimeter bolt right here that we're going to remove and having a socket and ratchet with an extension like this is usually your best bet. Okay, and then you just want to use a regular screwdriver to help you remove the plug here. I'll film this as best I can. Um, it's kind of a matter of lifting it up and off. I'm reaching up here to the top bar and kind of pushing it up and out of its mount. And then also pushing up here. Okay. You just push that up. Now you kind of have to push the fan up and get the top unhooked from the top of the radiator. Okay, and then once you do that, okay, just slowly bring it down. Be careful not to, you're basically trying to get it down past here, this point here, without dragging it against the fins of the radiator too much. Okay. I'm scooting it over so it kind of comes down. 
Okay. And it comes out. And so you can see you want to try and not let it scrape against the radiator and damage the fins too much. So here's our original radiator fan. Here's our new fan from 1A Auto. You can see it's all exactly the same. These mounts over here are exactly the same. Okay, this clip up here where it goes onto the radiator, exactly the same. And then uh, where it plugs in, all the same. So the new fan from 1A is going to um, plug in and work just like your original. Uh, on this car, this, there's nothing wrong with this fan, so the reinstall, I'm going to just put this old one back in. So, you basically take the fan. First, you want to make sure those get up over this brace here. So you kind of feed it up in there a little crooked. And then just pull that out of the way. Get it back by your AC hose here. Okay. And you can see it just kind of, it's a little tough getting it by the starter. I'm kind of trying to rotate the top backwards to keep it from scraping against the radiator. And just keep on kind of pushing it up in. Okay. So now, push the top up. Make sure it clips onto the... You may want to go up on top of the car to make sure that it clips onto the radiator correctly. And then over here, make sure your top bar is lined up. And it just pulls right down in. And then while you're under here, reconnect um, your switch. Okay, one note, this bottom bolt, okay, goes into a clip, okay, that actually clips to the bottom of the radiator. So, and it fell off on this car. I'm actually going to have to try and lift up the radiator and get the clip back on. So I need to lift up the radiator as much as I can. And obviously if I had done this before I put the fan on, it would have been a whole lot better. I'm going to slide it in place. screwdriver, slide it over some more, and then get the bolt in, tighten it up. So now we can lower the car down. So now from the top, I'm just grabbing the fan, making sure it is one with the radiator, and it is, so we can kind of put the Reader brackets back down and in. Ten millimeter bolts. It should be tight by about 15 foot pounds. Okay, now put our plastic back on. Kind of feeds underneath. Slides down in. Okay. And clip it in. Okay, so we've reconnected the battery, and I have the engine running. And you can turn on the, you can turn on your AC. That'll get the engine or the fan blowing. And as you can see by those flags down there that are shaking, the fan's working correctly. Um, hit the AC button. And then the fan will come on after probably about 5 or 10 seconds. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.